The fourth pillar of stewardship is service. It's taking the gifts you've been given and sharing those gifts with a world that desperately needs them. You're gonna see in the film today a group of people who've responded to a need in their community, feeding the hungry. They took the gifts they were given and they used those gifts to respond to that need. That is the fourth pillar of stewardship service in action. teacher called us and said a little girl shared in class today that she had gone to the best restaurant and everyone was so nice and we felt like oh my gosh that says we did what we were out to do to make her feel special you know to serve her and I think it's just the feeling and the love that's in in the atmosphere and that everyone knows they're here for that mission to serve. The Lord's Diner serves whoever walks through the door there's no boundaries on that there's no qualifications whoever shows up gets fed. Bishop Gerber's vision of the Lord's Diner that's really being lived out to this day is that we just serve a meal to anybody who comes in without asking any questions of them. He used to take walks during the daytime from his offices which were just across the street from this location and he would run into all the homeless guys and he would actually take them to lunch at some of the fast food restaurants or even invite them into his little kitchen for lunch and when he got ready to retire he worried what what's going to happen to my guys food is an essential item for every one of us you don't live on the planet uh, without being able to be nourished with water and with food and so he went out to different agencies to see what was there, what opportunities there were, and he found there was some daytime lunch service, but no evening meal, no consistent meal, and um, a meal where no questions are asked and anybody can come. And some of the guests are always kind of surprised that you don't want my name, you don't want my age, you know, no, just if you're here, that's good enough. As we serve, we are also served, as we give we also receive. As I am blessed, um, so I am blessed. <laughs> I, in a way I thought I would come and help. And as you do that, you begin to realize that you are being helped. And as you are aware of that these that come to you, you also become aware of their issues, their blessings, and just the great gift that they are to us. I've been coming to the Lord's Diner almost as long as it's been open. I like the Lord's Diner, even though people come here to eat. It's a social place too, because a lot of people have formed friendships that don't get a chance to see each other out of the day, so people will come line up early just to see their friends and sit with their friends and eat with their friends. Even I see the volunteers come and they act like we're gonna, we're gonna come and help these people. And I kind of try to remind them that don't come to help them. I mean, come to see how they're gonna help you as well. In my book, she's number one. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I love you. One of the great things about the Lord's Diner is it's given an avenue to anybody who says, I want to do something. I knew I needed to put myself out there, do something, give back. Christ gave his life for us. This is what he taught us to do. And I think this is what I should be doing. They make you feel like you're a human being. They don't talk to you like if you're homeless, if you're coming off the street eating here. They treat you with dignity and respect, and that's something that a lot of people may not get in other places in Wichita. They don't feel like they're welcome. Here, they know they're welcome when they come here. It's a safe place. To me, this, this, this isn't just a place of employment. This is, this is some place I, I feel very tied to. And you are welcoming into your home. It's no different than if I had people come to my house. I, I would serve them the same way. So just like the Lord said, the least you do unto your fellow man, you also do unto me. This is appropriately named the Lord's Diner. So many times we share with people here at the Lord's Diner 
and we come and we serve. And so many times I've heard people's stories that they got so much more out of the experience than that person that came in to have dinner. I think the vast majority of our volunteers change having come here. I think it's, it's one of those things that you realize that it's not somebody else. It's not, you know, these aren't people on the streets. These are your neighbors, your friends, your, your family. When I was a kid, there were times when I was growing up where we didn't have food on the table and stuff to eat. And I realized the diner is probably even more important to those kids so they can get a good meal because this might be the only well-balanced meals that those kids may get out of the day. I recall a young uh, man that I talked to and he was trying so hard um, to still be a businessman, but you could tell he was down on his luck. He was having a very difficult time. The dignity that he was still trying to preserve and just that exchange with him was very uh, a good experience for him, but was also really good for me and that sharing with him and just letting him have that dignity. And I think that's something that's so important to us here at the diner. We have people who come who perhaps could afford to buy food elsewhere, but if they bought food, they might not be able to pay their rent. Or if they bought food, they might not be able to pay their electric bill. So I like to think that in some way, by providing them with that one simple meal every night, maybe we're making a dent in homelessness in the community. Maybe we're making a dent in the stress that people have in their lives every day. Maybe we're making a dent in a decrease in domestic violence because people aren't stressed about where that next meal is coming from because we just unconditionally give them that simple thing of a meal. These are our guests. When you treat them with hospitality, when you treat them with care and you see them like Christ, so many blessings come back to you from that experience. I'm grateful that I'm thankful. I think that's the number one thing. I'm grateful that I'm thankful for the diner and for the people that run the diner and those people that may come down here that I may not know. I'm thankful that they have a place to go eat. It's always a wonderful thing to see people come in and, you know, they may be a little nervous about being here for the first time and they're a little scared or not knowing what to expect. And you look over there 10 minutes later and there's just a big smile on their face and they're joshing with somebody or teasing somebody and they're being teased and it's, it's just family. You know, when Jesus said, there will always be those in need, there, there will always be the poor. Um, he told us that there will always be people to serve and they are, in fact, important. But just as we serve them, so they serve us. And accepting the blessing while at the same time trying to bless is really the marvel of how God works. You just watched a film about a community a community that used their gifts to respond to a need. This week, your challenge is to look around your community and to recognize the gifts you've been given and use those gifts to help a person or persons. The one catch is that you do it anonymously. The glory in this event does not go to you. It goes where it's supposed to go, to God.